just got my guardian angel manual. There's a guardian angel manual? You're darn tootin'. Check it out. Check it out. Uncut angel book, man. Well, die before you buy. Ah, <laughs> oh, I didn't know this. It says here I can make espresso. <laughs> Can you make steam milk, too? <laughs> yeah. And it comes out of my nose. I'll drink it black. <laughs> well, look at this. It says guardian angels have the power to travel through time. Hey, go back in time and get me yesterday's newspaper, will you? Grandpa, yesterday's newspaper's upstairs. Yeah, I just didn't feel like walking up there and getting it. I'll try this out. By the almighty power of heaven, I command thee to send me back in... Written by God, with an introduction by Bennett Cerf. <laughs> oh, look, there's a picture of God on the back. Huh. Interesting. Oh, you guys won't believe this. I just went back to the Jurassic period and found this dinosaur egg. Don't worry, uh, I'll just go back in time and, uh, oh, I'll get another dinosaur to come back and eat that one. Wait, Marty, <laughs> if you can go back in time, you could stop yourself from eating that skanky burger. Wow. I could live out my dreams. I'll buckle down. I'll get straight A's. I'll become a doctor. Or at least tell people I am. <laughs> Marty. Steve, I'm gonna go back in time and save myself. Uh, your dinosaur is drinking beer. <laughs> uh, he thinks he's people. <laughs> well, ladies, I'm gonna be alive again. I'll miss all of you. Except for you. You talk too much. Curve. Just go with it. <laughs> Why don't you swing? Mrs. LaFontaine's washing her car. <laughs> Dad, should you be telling me not to stare? Uh huh. And I will. As soon as my dad tells me not to stare. Well, my dad's dead, so we'll be staring a long time. <laughs> Oh, hey, play some ball. The clowns are done ogling. Lunch is ready. I think we can stay out here a little longer. Up, huh, Pop? Hi, Mr. LaFontaine. This game's over. <laughs> I thought you'd already gone back to the past. No. Marty, you gotta take this shot. You could be alive again. But you realize that all the stuff I've helped you with in the last year will never have happened. Like you becoming homecoming king, a wrestling champ, or dating Jessica Fishman. Yeah, but none of that'll matter. Because you'll be alive. You give that all up for me? Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> well, I'm off to start a new life in America. <laughs> I'm gonna open up my own fruit stand. Yeah, but the kids will probably steal my apples. Ah, but that's okay. They're good kids anyway. Uh, except for that Dutch boy. He's a bad egg. <laughs> Marty, just get going. Arrivederci, Steve Arino. Bye-bye now. It's faster to walk. <laughs> Wow. June 1997. That's a simpler time. A more trusting time. A time a man could... Ah, oh, gee, it's the same as now. <laughs> oh, there I am. <laughs> Young, handsome, witty. 
Greetings, fellow student. Ah, hey, dude. Dude? I like that. Dude. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah. Just try not to overdo it. Dude. I forgot I got him started on that. All right. See you later. Dude. DePolo. Mr. Nitzinski. Oh. You mean him. You didn't turn in your history paper today. Oh, well, <coughs> I was sick. <laughs> well, if you don't turn it in tomorrow, you better be dead. I showed him. <laughs> I'm your ghost. Ah! <laughs> Wait a second. How could you be my ghost? I'm still alive. I'm from the future. Ah! Oh, Look, if you're from the future, then what's it like? Well, don't freak out. But it turns out that the Macarena was just a fad. What? <laughs> but I invested all my money in Planet Macarena theme restaurants. Don't remind me. I come to tell you that this afternoon, you're gonna find a grody hamburger in Steve's room and eat it. That burger will kill you. So that's how I go, huh? I always thought it would be something more glamorous. Like a dancing night fight on the West Side Story. <laughs> like, man, I've been stabbed, Daddy. Oh. You know, watching me isn't as fun as being me. <laughs> Anyway, listen, I'm here to give you a second chance. So whatever you do tonight, don't eat the burger. Gotcha. Thanks for warning me, man. <laughs> oh, it looks like someone's been pigging out in the afterlife. <laughs> hey, man, you got anything to eat? Yeah, there's some cold spaghetti in the refrigerator. Too far. I think there's some corn chips underneath the bed. I'm there. <laughs> oh, man, this is disgusting. You know, you really should clean under here once in a while. Oh, there's the death burger now. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? Are you kidding me? I wouldn't eat this on a dare. <laughs> what are you, a chicken? Not only am I not going to eat the burger, but I'm going to sell all my Planet Macarena stock and invest it in Tony Danza Show t-shirts. I don't know what you're talking about, man, but if you're not going to eat this burger, then I will. No! Beauchamp? Don't eat me. Why does everybody think I'm going to eat them? Hello there. Marty, you killed your best friend. Wow, well, he isn't exactly my best friend. Did I ever tell you about this guy, Joel? <laughs> okay, I killed my best friend. You happy? Now, how did this happen? Funny story. You are gonna laugh. <laughs> you know how the Guardian Angel Manual encourages us to go back in time and toy with human destiny? No, you're not supposed to do that. I'm sorry. I never meant for this to happen. I only wanted to live again. Well, wait a second. If I stop myself from eating the burger, then how come I'm still an angel? Because your time traveling has torn a hole in the fabric of the universe. Oh. Marty, you were meant to be here. It is your destiny. Well, then what's his destiny? Steve is going to win the lottery eight times and date hundreds of supermodels. <laughs> that sounds fair. You must put everything back precisely the way it was. Well, what if Marty and I went back to earlier this afternoon and warned Marty not to warn Marty about the burger? My ears are burning. Is someone talking about me? That's an excellent plan, Steve. You'd make a great guardian angel. Thank you. Well, I guess it's 
Time to pop out. What do you want to do that? It's on page one of the manual. <laughs> Whoa, deja vu. I've been in this exact situation before. <laughs> yes, you have. Twice. Whoa, deja vu. Vu. <laughs> oh, look, there I am. And there I am, too. That's a whole lot of handsome. <laughs> yeah, there's two of me, too. Someone's ego is showing. Look, we gotta warn this Marty not to warn that Marty. Well, if you don't turn it in tomorrow, you better be dead. <laughs> I showed him. <laughs> again. What are you doing here? When you warned yourself not to eat the burger, I did, and now I'm an angel. Oh, I bet Hetty was angry. Oh, man, was he? You know, you think by now he'd be desensitized to our shenanigans? Look, guys, I, I better get back to my house to make sure everything goes the way it's supposed to. One of you guys should come with me. Which, Which one? one? I'm thinking of a number. 98. Just come with me. Hey, what am I supposed to do? Dude. Dude? Dude. <laughs> Find a way to shut him off. Hey, you have some corn chips underneath the bed. I'm there. Ah, look at us. I can't believe we were ever that young. <laughs> All right, you're about to eat the burger. Now remember, you can't interfere. But I still dare you. <laughs> No, 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 wait a second, man. You always dare me, and I always do it. So this time, I dare you to eat the burger. All right, I will. <laughs> it's not like it's gonna kill me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Steve, what are you doing? <laughs> not him. Him. Who? Who? Who are you? We're your ghosts. Yeah, and we come to tell you to give Bob Cratchit the day off for Christmas. Huh? <laughs> you stopped him from eating the burger, man. Well, I had to, man. I couldn't watch my best friend die. Oh, man. You must really care about me. You know I do. <laughs> oh. Wish they'd just get a room. <laughs> Wait, if you didn't eat the burger, isn't that big head gonna be mad? Hey, who cares? As long as we're both alive. <laughs> Let's square dance. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, Marty, I just wanted to tell you that dinner's gonna be very late. Oh, a burger. No! <laughs> and then Pam ate the burger and bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Here we are. Is it about a six-month-old hamburger that's so irresistible? Could it be the lure of the forbidden? Silence! Look, Henny, I wouldn't trust Ren and Stimpy here to fix the fabric of time. Stimpy, she thinks we're idiots. Let me go back and straighten things out. I can fix things one, two, Three, four, five, there's six of us now. Well, thank you for straightening out this whole mess, Pamela. Oh, hey, I should also get some credit. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Maybe I was, too. I had trouble with my wings. Do these come in a loose fit? You ate the burger, too? No, I slipped on it and fell out the window. Dude! What are you doing up here? I don't know. I was I was walking by your house, and all of a sudden, this old dude fell out a window and landed on me. There he is. Dude, you killed me to death. Oh, oh. Don't ask. This rocket's are big enough for all of us. Yeah, the sad thing is it's bigger than my apartment. Dad, I thought you said heaven was made out of marshmallows and Barbie dolls. Actually... My house is. Eddie, I gotta say something. I'm responsible for all these people. And that dog. Being up there. I'm the only one who can fix things. 
Then you know what you have to do. Don't worry. In a minute, it'll be like none of this ever happened. This looks like a really bad Victoria's Secret commercial. <laughs> Wait a second, man. You always dare me, and I always do it. So this time, I dare you to eat the burger. All right, I will. <laughs> it's not like it's gonna kill me. <laughs> All right, this is it. The moment of truth. Uh, on the one hand, I could eat the burger and save my friends. On the other hand, I could stop myself and live a normal life. On the other hand... <laughs> where'd that hand come from? <laughs> oh, man. I really should have this checked out. Oh, there's no decision here. I gotta save my friends. It was a doodly deed you did, dude. So, you really ate it this time? Ah, oh, yep. And it tasted as good as I remember, too. Full-bodied with just a hint of rancid meat. It was like there was a funeral in my mouth. <laughs> well, thanks, Marty. We all appreciate it. Hey, way to take one for the team, Marty. What happens now? We wait and see if the timeline is restored. Then you'll go back to your lives and you'll have no memory of any of this. Oh, cool. yeah. Look, I'm sorry I put you guys through this. It was great being able to talk to you one last time. I'm just happy to know that you ended up here. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. Well, I go to a fate worse than death. Teachers. Which nobody can deny. Which nobody can deny. For he's a jolly good fellow. Take care of yourself, Marty. Which nobody can deny. You really think so? Yes, Marty. I do. Hey, Hetty. I want to thank you for putting up with me. So, I got you a little present. <laughs> World's best head. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. No, I'm not going to eat you. Hi, I'm Teen Angel. You know, most people wonder how we do the magical special effects on the show. Like in this episode, where you can see two of me. Well, the secret is professional stunt doubles. Meet Ted Phillips from Merrick, New York. Hey, yo, Marty, how you doing? Thanks for the hard work today, Ted. Oh, hey, you, ah. Uh, Forget about it. Hey, Marty, can you show my stunt double? Sure. Sir Nigel Havisham from Gloucester, England. <laughs> this guy can really act. <laughs> it's all in the voice. <laughs> Five, six, community chest. Hey, I want a beauty contest. I don't suppose it's one of those sting deals, do you, where you show up to get your prize and they bust you for unpaid parking tickets? Maybe. Hey, man, where you been? Well, I know you'll be getting your driver's license soon, and as your guardian angel, I'm worried about you. So I've come up with the perfect solution. A foam rubber car! <laughs> Behold, the sponge mobile! You know... If Ted Kennedy was driving one of these, he'd be president by now. You think you're pretty? I just won a beauty contest. Well, I'd love to stay in chat, but the gasoline is dissolving the innards. See you later. That's the cutest accident I've ever seen. <laughs> 